What's up, Paige here, doing a video on warranty and what I experienced from two pen companies. We're going to be talking about Cross and we're going to be talking about Mont Blanc. I've got two pens here. Both these pens were serviced and taken care of by both companies' warrantied items. We're going to go talk about how you started the process and what to expect if you are going to be dealing with these companies and how they take care of you. Before we start, this is an opinionated video. These are my opinions. I'm not making this video to bash either or a company. Both companies did their job. Both companies did what they were supposed to do. And both companies followed their warranty. So what, I, what I'll express at the end of the video is my opinions and what I think either company, what they should have done compared to the other company. So let's start off with Cross. Cross, basically, I've shown the pen that I sent in. I finally got around and sent that pen in. So to start the process with Cross is you log on to their website, you put your name, that's the date that I actually did it. I did this at the beginning of the year, did it on the 12th. I started the process, I took that Cross Silver pen that I had just like this chrome pen uh, and why I sent it in, it wouldn't stay together. The shaft in the pen, the two, the two uh, ends that connect to the shaft we're separating every time you bear down on the pen and the reason why is this particular cross pen on a cross pen it comes apart like this this is where you change your ink cartridge but on that particular pen this had also become unpressed fit off the shaft and this was loose so every time you bear down on the ball point all the pressure was going on the cartridge inside this shaft and basically the pen would fall apart because this wasn't stuck to the shaft. So basically that was the issue with the pen. It had to be serviced and sent back to Cross. And uh, they basically replaced it with the new Cross pen. But basically that's how you start the warranty. And you basically just put a brief description of the pen. I estimated that that particular Cross pen was four to 10 years old. They told me after they received it, it was about a 15 year old cross, which is a pro. I was taking a wild guess because I couldn't remember when I bought it. This, but that particular cross I had bought after I got out of high school and it was right around, I couldn't exactly remember the, the year or when I bought it. I knew it was a few years out of call, out of high school, right around college, but uh, they estimated it was about 15 years old. They uh, basically, this is how they handled the issue. They basically, charges you ten dollars you like I said you fill out this little prescription to give a de brief description of what you're experiencing you pen to pay ten dollars and that starts the process uh, you see the date that I sent it in this is what I received back from them they basically date right there on the 30th they uh, sent it they shipped it out on the 30th I received it February 1st fast shipping it was ridiculously fast from when they sent it out but basically you see they warranty the product your product has been replaced with an identical product or an upgraded to a newer product they couldn't replace it with the pen that I had because it was an old pen and they no longer made that body style anymore meaning that the pen that I had before was an older pen it was uh, more like this one this one is a very old one. This is one of the ones that was actually still made in the USA. If you see at the top of that barrel, it says USA right there. And the only difference was it was this older style cross, but it, and you can see it has the older cross emblem on there. And it has it had engraving down here as well, knurling or etching that added some pattern for texturing for holding on, which was, it's just a little thing they did in the early 90s with some of their pens and uh, they no longer do it anymore so of course they couldn't replace it with that particular pen so they gave me the new the newest chrome pen this particular cross here so that's how cross dealt with their issue basically they charged you ten dollars and they didn't really do anything else but send you a brand new pen and that's how cross warranty the issue now we're going to talk about Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc handles it a little bit different because we're talking about a little bit different product. We're talking about, a, uh, I just happened to send in a fountain pen. So, of course, this is the 149 Mont Blanc. It has a 18 karat gold nib, so they're not exactly going to throw this away. So, realistically, they're probably going to fix it. And that's exactly what they did is they fixed it. But basically what was going on with this pen was that 
the rotator back here which that controls the piston inside over years of using the pen over and over wasn't working properly it wasn't sucking in correctly and it wasn't pushing out the ink correctly it was just old and and uh, needed to be replaced and basically this pen is to give you a rough idea this was a pen that was given to a relative and I ended up with it as you can see they received it in 1995 so that tells you the year of the pen it's an old pen so rightly so the pen lasted how many years until last year uh, it actually stopped working somewhat somewhere in the middle of uh, 2016 and that's when I sent it in and had it replaced so let's see what they did so right off the bat just like cross a long life out of a pen we're talking a long life out of a pen and it's really was still functionable it was just the uh, piston wasn't working properly so let's see how they handled the issue basically after they're a little bit different because you got to send the pen in they got to look at it they got to decide what they're going to do and then they come up with a solution and then you decide whether you're going to have them fix it or not so basically bam I sent it in this is what they of course I discussed this on the phone with them but this is what they decided to do uh, they considered this a service flat rate one. They uh, charged me handling and uh, freight charges. So we paid $66 for that service. We paid $15 for the shipping. Grand total of $81. Of course, they charged me taxes. What the hell? Six sixty-nine, which made it a grand total of eighty-seven sixty-nine. You're basically talking ninety dollars. So what did they do? They give you a pretty decent description, uh, basically uh, writing instrument, the 149 Mont Blanc. Basically, they're going to tell you what they did to the pen, uh, the basically the service flap, what it includes. Basically, they carefully examined it, diagnostic, uh, complete disassemble of the pen, basically cleaning the parts, exchange broken parts for the, the p new pieces reassembled and basically shipped it back to me and the pen when I received it was working perfectly and haven't had an issue since and been using it since then so the difference between the co two companies Mont Blanc and Cross and this is where my opinion comes in versus what they actually did basically this is more opinionated now and how I feel that one should have done more than the other because we're talking about Cross versus Mont Blanc. And the only reason I say that is because Cross is, uh, Mont Blanc kind of considers themselves, they're, they're a heavy player in the pen industry. They think of themselves as number one. They give you that experience. They want you to feel the number one experience when you buy their products. And rightly so, they try and do that. But I fear that they don't show it in their warranting. We're talking about a pen that roughly cost over $1,000 when it was new, and they still sell this $149 for over $1,000, especially with the 18 karat gold tip on it. So you're talking about a high-end pen, a high-end price, and you would expect better service than a lower-end price pen from a, what, not going to say cross, but they would consider cross lower than them. Not saying that cross is. Not trying to say I've, I'm a diehard cross fan. I have so many cross pens, it's ridiculous. Reason why? Because of the way they warranty their items. They only charge you $10 and replace the pen. They have the best warranty in the industry, and I don't think there's a better company than Cross. They've been around for 170 years, and they are number one, in my opinion. Montblanc has a great track record, too, but for what they're charging and what you pay, you would expect the same type of service that Cross gives you out of Mont Blanc. That's just my complaint. Well, do I want this pen replaced? No, I don't want the pen replaced, but I think all you should have charged me for was shipping. That's all I'm saying. For what this pen cost and what it's what you consider yourself, then you should be better than your competition. One of your competition companies out there. But there you go, that's my opinion. These are the two pens, just to give you a heads up what you might experience if you're going to deal with either one of these companies. Cross definitely has, in my opinion, the better warranty. And just a, a heads up, yes, there's a greater scale between the prices of these pens, no doubt. This probably costs 30 times more than this pen, if not more than that. But 
the cross cross themselves have pens that range all the way up to the seven eight hundred dollar range and they do the same thing with the warranties they just replace the pen that's just how they do business which makes them one of the in my opinion one of the best and still in this industry but uh there you go that is my opinion of the two pens and just go over what i experience and from both companies you guys take it easy